Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Into Interventions Reality Update video, episode 33. And I just have done a little bit of runs since last episode, and I can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe that was, yeah, 15 time theorems. That's just with antimatter and affinity points. And I can get more eternity points, which will allow me to get another molt, EP molt. I did. I got an EP mole off camera as well, and I mean, I could do this for eternity points, but I might just want to go into challenges at this point. So this is another 11 time theorems on top of what I already got. So what does that get me? That probably, I can now do eternity challenge six like this with a full time study tree. So maybe I want to do that. Why not? It, like, I barely reached the goal last time, but I think that it's going to be a little bit different this time with a full tree. I mean, we'll see about that. Replicanti is going to be faster at the very, very least, and infinity point gain will be increased. Unfortunately, um, this time study 41, which is normally really good, is kind of weak here. So that's kind of, that's unfortunate, but whatever, I can deal so now as the replicated galaxies start getting quicker and quicker, I'm getting 4.3, 9.4 per second, and 10.3. So now, well, somehow I'm getting less. Oh, it's because I have time dimension path. I need a thin knee dimension path. So that, that that's our first fail of all the eternity challenges, which is interesting. Maybe this is a bad omen, but... There has there are some attorney challenges I haven't even done at all. Like attorney challenge eight, for example. It I'm not sure how bad this is gonna be exactly, but it might be a little bit of a yikes. So I can get all of this and do attorney challenge eight. And this is the one where I can only pick a few infinity dimensions here. I'm just gonna buy max there. And then also Okay, this challenge was, at least this version, this edition of it, I guess, is not a yikes. But I just want to see, if I put everything into, if I put everything into just speed, it's 15 seconds per replicated galaxy. That's, that's good to know, just for reference. The first challenge of this is easy, but the others are going to be a lot more difficult. So it, it's going to strengthen replicanti galaxies, which means that turning challenge 6 actually might be possible. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll try five again, because I have significantly more time theorems than I had before. So that, that's what I'm going to go for here. Yeah, it's literally, I can get all the way down to 161 and go into a turning challenge five. So that, that's, that's probably going to mean that I'm going to get way more than I was ever originally getting here. I might, I'm probably going to want time study 62, because I, I I need faster replicated galaxies anyway. And I can still get 21 on top of this if I really am struggling, but this challenge is actually so much of a joke, I can get another completion of it. So, I mean, yeah, I could just shift-click, but whatever. I'm, I I don't have the thing for it. Maybe, maybe I can do something like this. Like, I'll call this... Um, the infinity dimension thing? I don't know. I'm just going to go into the challenge because I know it's going to be easy. I might even be able to get the fifth completion of the challenge, which is a testament to just how how weak of an actual challenge this challenge is. When I mean weak, I mean like how much the challenge actually challenges me. If I can get to E2350 easily, like, yeah. Like, I'm able to reach E2100, 20. 200 i don't think i'm quite able to reach 2350 but it, like once i get like once i get 171 it's game over for this challenge so there's that maybe i can go for uh i did seven recently i could go for something like four but i think something like three fifth time or two fourth time might be better at this point so i'm gonna try this this one might be a failure but no, it doesn't look like a failure. Look at this. It's it's high friction, but that it's no match for my just 
power in this game with all of my time dimension upgrades and everything and turn you point multipliers and do I, even ha do I even have every time dimension? Yes, I yes I do. So now it is time to do our first fifth completion, hopefully at least. It shouldn't be too bad, especially as the Replicanti starts to get quick. And I can get to E900 infinity points, no problem. And there we go. So it might be I might want to do a tourney challenge for next. I'm not sure how possible this is, but I actually we, we can we can see what it's like. Well actually no, we can't see what it's like here. But if I just do everything here, go with a fully decked out tree, I wanna see just how possible getting E forty four hundred infinity points in just four infinities will be. And this isn't very promising, actually. I'm less than halfway there. It's yeah, oh, it's just barely out of reach. If I had one more infinity, um, I could do it. But that's our next. That's our second fail, I guess. Um, what do I do? Just yeah, do this. I the only thing I can do at this point is just more eternity points, more time theorems, because the because like eternity ch challenge five is like on the verge of being able to be completed again same with four but that's more just i need more time dimension things for that and i don't even have something good on 121 yeah i'm still probably getting still gaining a whole lot of, of eternity points here with this which is crazy actually yeah e7000 infinity points it's enough for several time theorems I'm just gonna buy max and then Actually, I kind of just want to keep going. Look at this. I'm gaining so much attorney points, and I'm leaving a whole bunch on the table, which is crazy. But maybe it's now time to get that. I get an attorney point multiplier, and then basically it's like getting two attorney point multipliers from this. It's crazy. But now let's see how far we can get. So all of this gives me E30 attorney points and a total of nine additional time theorems. Not counting the ones I'm able to get from the additional eternity points. So I can probably just go here. I'm just going to respec here. And I can just do eternity challenge 5. And yeah, I'll, I'll probably make one for the infinity dimension path. Like like this. Because I don't, I don't want to do... I don't want to keep going like this. Um, so here we go. I'm going to save... Actually, I can... No, I'm going to just save it like this. And this will be... I'm just going to call it EC56. Because it's for it's good for both 5 and 6. And unless I do that... Well, we can still do 6. So that's not much of a problem. Well, it looks like this challenge is going to be relatively close. But it is going to be entirely beatable. So there we go. We can just do this actually do attorney challenge 5 which means i can get everything except 41 by the single time theorem but i really don't think i need something like time study 41 for this challenge because it has been proven to be a complete joke so here we go now what do i go for maybe attorney challenge 4 again because i was extremely close maybe well, not extremely but i was i was pretty close to beating it and I got several more time dimension multiplied. Well, okay, I'm going to fail if I have my auto buyer on, but I can just start again. And now look at this. 100 extra orders of magnitude. 100 extra orders of magnitude. 100 extra orders of magnitude. And, um, okay, barely, but it's just enough to get E4400 and beat the last iteration of Eternity Challenge 4. So now I probably want to do, I want to probably do Attorney Challenge 7. I haven't done that in a while, and I have so much more time theorems. I can now do a full time study tree with Attorney Challenge 7. With the stipulation that I have to, I have to use Antimatter Dimension Path. So here we go, Attorney Challenge 7. And what I need, I need E3060 Infinity Points. I mean, the challenge, this challenge is never actually a real challenge. I can probably do the fourth completion of this as well, as long as I have the necessary time theorems. 
the or time theorems, I guess, to get the rest of the antimatter for the requirements. And unfortunately, the antimatter requirement is still a barrier here. So what do I do? I probably just respec. I, I cut my losses, respec, maybe just go into this again and grind eternity points and time theorems and do the last completion of eternity challenge too. So this is so powerful. I'm able to reach, what is this, like 20 time theorems? Maybe even more? I currently have 129, and I'm able to go all the way up to 140, 151 time theorem, 152. Yeah, it just keeps going up and up. And I can get two eternity point multipliers, which is crazy. I, can, I should probably do more runs of this, because this is proving to be quite good. Like, this is where the inflation starts to kick in. Or not inflation, but like it, where it starts to really become faster. And it is especially like this because my glyph is having more and more effects. If I go to multiplier breakdown, maybe it's not, well, not, maybe not the best to go for it, to look at this now. But also the Eternity Challenge 1 reward is very weak. It's just a time dimension multiplier based on the like time spent in this Eternity. And even with 5 completions, it's only like something like a thousand and the glyph boost is certainly certainly doing more than that because like a thousand times in each time dimension versus i mean okay maybe not certainly but like for example the glyph boost goes from e111 to or it would go from like whatever e107 to e111 so maybe it's not doing more but at the very least it's substituting for the attorney challenge one reward so Maybe this is one of the reasons why I chose to actually pick this glyph. Even if it might have been a terrible idea. Whatever, I'm able to reach over E9000 infinity points. And, I mean, we can start looking here. So, like, 50% is based on total tick speed. And so about a sixth is based on tick speed upgrade. And about half of that is based on time dimensions. So, that means it's now up to a twelfth from time dimensions, which I guess isn't all that much, but the thing is with all the synergy in this game, like, even a small boost can have just a lot of influence. So I'm going from 152 to 172 time theorems, probably getting enough for two more eternity point multipliers, which tells me I should probably do one more run like this, and then try to do eternity challenges again. While I'm waiting, I, okay, I, I lied earlier in this episode when I said last completion of Eternity Challenge 4. No, it's not the last completion. It is 4 to 5 because the last completion requires Time Study 181, which I would be getting close to normally. But the thing is that since I'm not allowed any completions of Eternity Challenge 1, I'm not allowed to get Time Study 181 because it needs at least one completion of Eternity Challenge 1. And that, that does really suck because... Eternity Challenge 1 reward isn't all that good, but the Eternity Challenge 4 reward is much better. So, yeah, it is something I have to take into consideration here. And, like, even with all of these boosts, like, it's going to be this part of the game that might be a little bit of a struggle to reach E70. Not, not the early part, the late part, which is kind of weird, because usually it's the early part that's really grindy. But, anyway, I'm still able to reach E9500 infinity points and get a total of, let's see, 172 all the way up to 185. So it's 13 time theorems. And E38, it's enough for one more 30 point multiplier. But I think at this point, I kind of just want to go back into the challenges. And what better to do than the last completion of Eternity Challenge 2? So yeah, this is not even, that was like trivial. Which means that 2 through 5 are effectively complete. I now have the second half, or the, I'll call them the back half, at least for our purposes in this reality of the Eternity Challenges. So we got Eternity Challenge 6, 7, and 8, and 9. 9 is still kind of far away, unfortunately, but I can maybe try... I should probably try 8 again, because I haven't done that in a while. The first completion was really easy. I can afford a full study tree with Eternity Challenge 8. So, let's see how easy this is. Yeah, this is not a problem. And it's a galaxy reward, so it's gonna, it's gonna be really good. 
like especially with stuff like that I can just do the usual replicate chance and I, d I almost definitely don't need a replicated galaxy I I'll leave a few purchases left if I really do need actually I do need a couple of replicated galaxies but it doesn't look like I need more than like one or two replicated galaxies to complete this challenge and it means it is going to take a little bit of time, but I don't think it's really that bad. E2187 Infinity Borns. Yeah, I don't even need a Replicated Galaxy. You can just put everything in here and complete the challenge. So that was actually closer than I thought it might be, which means I should probably do something else next time, which will be, I guess, Eternity Challenge 6. So here we go. I need E1600 infinity points it hopefully shouldn't be too bad it's still it's still a slow start unfortunately but once i get the replicated galaxies going it just becomes so much faster at the very least maybe not easier because even with this this is still a little bit of a struggle to reach e1600 okay not a struggle but i okay it might be a struggle i'm probably going to at least beat the challenge but it'll it's only by a close margin that i'm able to beat this challenge and that means a fifth completion at this point is out of the question so i guess next up is eternity challenge seven because it's pretty close to getting that antimatter requirement for it so why why not get it here we go eternity challenge seven fourth time it does start to get a little bit harder at this point but I think considering I'm still using antimatter path, I it, it's not going to be hard at all. So here we go. Completion. And after this, there's kind of, I don't know what the strategy is. I think the only thing I can think of is just do eternity point grinding. Because I just completed like the three realistic challenges by, I mean, I could try to do seven and fifth time, but it looked like my strength is kind of running out fast there like i probably would have only been able to reach about e3800 infinity points and these goals like six and eight i beat just barely so i don't know what the strategy going forward is i'm still far from attorney challenge nine because it requires 415 times theorems from this point and i have like 214 Okay, I guess I can buy a few more, but that only gets me a few more time theorems. Like, the thing is that because the Eternity Challenge completions get, they get, like, better and better for Eternity Points, the farther I go in the game, there's, there's still hope here that I can get more time theorems, more Eternity Points. Like, look at this, E41 Eternity Points, I'm still able to get... So I'd be going pretty far with this, like E10500 infinity points. It's enough to get um, like 20 time theorems. And you can see I have enough time theorems for 181, but I still can't get it 181. So that is disappointing, but whatever. I can get two eternity point multipliers and time dimensions are multiplied by your unspent time theorem. So at least I'm still getting stuff. But I think what I want to do now is just Keep doing this eternity point grinding and we'll see what I where how far I'm able to actually get with all this because I've now completed out of 40 possible completions actually 39 possible completions because of turning challenge 4 I've done 19 23 27 29 so that's that's a good amount of them I mean I don't even think I need to do all 30 nine of them like i like maybe attorney challenge seven last time i might not need to do or something like attorney challenge nine some of the times so yeah else i didn't even get the time dimensions what what am i even doing and i'm still able to reach e i'm still able to reach e44 attorney points without that so yeah this is definitely the way to go right now and next episode i think I'll be on the home stretch of trying to get E70 Eternity Points without Eternity Challenge 1. 
And I didn't even see what this upgrade's really about, or at least I forgot what's about. It's just an Eternity Point Multiplier, which will be useful for some other stuff, especially early Eternity. So, it's and it also gets stronger each reality. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.